Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. So we have marriage, okay? So some of you guys are going to be getting married soon. It says you may get engaged or commit yourself to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to give your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. All right. Good things, good things coming in. We have inner child. So it says... You're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So some of you guys are going to be nurturing your inner child, doing things that make your inner child happy, healing your inner child. Um, let's see. We have secrecy. Ooh. So it says there's a situation or person that does not, that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret, pay, pay close attention to your surroundings. So since we are doing a reading on the positive things there, it could be that something, when it says that there's a person is not what it appears to be, it could be in a positive way. Let's see. What about secrecy? Or maybe the, the positive thing is that you're finding out about it. Maybe you guys will be finding out with protection coming out too that, you're going to find out something about somebody like maybe you've been sad that you and someone haven't been working out or you have can't be be with this person right now or that they 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 chose someone over you or whatever the situation is or you guys stop being friends but you may find out something that makes you realize that you've been being protected from this person it says trust that you are being divinely guided right now there will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life all right let's do a few more we have purpose. It says there will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey, receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully. We have acceptance. So it says you're accepting situations and people for what they are, learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed and choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. So you guys are you're making peace with some things. It could even be like a parent a childhood friend, somebody that you've known since you were a child with it coming out right below inner child, okay? Making peace with the situation. We have ending. So yeah, something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward. I feel like you guys are going to be finding out the truth about something and being able to make peace with something. Before you can free yourself to move forward, let go of what was, celebrate the good and forgive the bad. It's all part of your journey. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing is peace. I'm seeing peace and acceptance coming in for you. I see marriage. I see inner child healing. I see you making progress and pursuing your purpose or just progress in your, in your purpose. I see you being protected from negativity. We have clarity. Yeah. D did I just say that? You getting clarity about something or being able to see the truth about something so that you can end something or for once and for all or something like that. Closure. The truth is about to be revealed, yeah, to you, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remain unanswered until now and suddenly will all be makes will make sense. So something that's been bothering you because you never really understood what the hell was going on, or you feel like you never got the full story, or there was a lack of closure in a situation, you're gonna be getting the answers, you're gonna be getting the truth, you're gonna be getting the clarity, and you're gonna realize that it was like in your best interest, it was a hidden blessing that something didn't work out, or that you and that person didn't end up together, or that they they left you, or whatever happened. We have regret. Because like some of you guys have been worried that you messed something up or that you you missed your chance at something or whatever. So stop worrying that you missed your chance. Not all is lost. Keep going. The best is yet to come. Take care of yourself as you continue on your journey. Whatever was lost will come back around. Ooh. And then we have reconciliation here. An old love interest will be coming back, will come back wanting to re reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. Is this somebody that they should give a second chance to? What is this reconciliation energy? We have discovery. You will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remained undeveloped, unlocking the magician within you. For some of you, you're going to realize that Like you maybe thought that you and a person were done, but what really was happening was that things needed to change. You had to end some things in your life. They had to end some things in their life. The separation was actually like a time for you and this person to like declutter, remove the blockages so that maybe you guys could come back together in the right way. It, the separation was actually protecting the connection. 
Um, yeah, it says you will discover, yeah, with discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that, yeah, it's like you separating from this person got you on, got you more in tune with your purpose. It got you on the path of your purpose. All right. It says, um, that this separation or this ending that occurred between you and this person, it says that, um, it helped you discover, like you were sleeping on yourself. You have so many, you, you are so knowledgeable you have a lot of skills and that were a lot, like a lot of skills that were undeveloped. So it made you focus more on those things. Yeah, it says unlocking the magician within you that will lead to emotional fulfillment. So yeah, it's like you unlocking these skills and focusing more on your purpose is actually also leading you to emotional fulfillment. And it's also helping you with your confidence. Let's get one more card. We have patterns. Yeah, there was like a need to end a cycle. Like there was a repeating cycle. Like you maybe kept meeting the same person in different bodies or you kept repeating the same cycle with this, you know, even with different people. Um, or even this person kept repeating a cycle because there were some things that you needed to change. They needed to change. You needed to grow. They needed to grow. Um, you needed to get some clarity about some things. They needed to do that as well. There were some cycles that were open-ended that needed to get closed out before the two of you could reconcile. So the ending, it was, it was only... It was not an ending. It was a see you later. You know, see see you later when we're we're we've grown and when we've evolved and when we're more mature and we've learned lessons. We're better versions of ourselves. It says you're breaking free from from an unhealthy cycle. This new level of self awareness will help you reclaim control over your life by identifying what is causing these fruitless patterns. Things were not going to be able to work out between you and this person with the with the way that things were, the circumstances at the time. The, the spirit is saying this is a soul connection. A soulmate connection is making its way to you. So this is somebody that you, you know, you guys have been separated and you guys will be coming back together better and stronger. Okay. So yeah, a soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know that you are being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. So yeah, it's somebody from your past. It's not a new person. A situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or to give you closure. You will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. Some of you guys won't take this person back. Some of you guys will take this person back. It will be specific to the individual. Um, but yeah, someone from the past is returning and you will have a choice about whether or not you want to um, try again with this person or not. I do feel like when there will come a time where, you know, this person has changed and they will be ready for this connection and you'll be ready and it will be the right timing. Um, again, that doesn't mean that you have to take this person back. Okay, so let's get some more clarity about what are the good things coming in. So some of you guys um, have a reconciliation with a soulmate, but you guys will be coming back together in the right way or in a better way. You might, you guys, for those of you that will reconcile with this person, I see it leading to marriage. Like, because, yeah, with this secrecy, it's like you guys are maybe thinking that this person is a karmic. You're, you guys are just done and over with. That's not the case. Something, it's not over. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So that's probably you guys, because that card did say you guys are coming into a more confident energy now. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have an offer of commitment coming in. The Three of Wands, or you guys have been waiting for this, or you're anticipating this, manifesting this. The Tower, Scorpio Energy, Clarify the Queen of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, you'll be receiving communication, you guys have grown, you guys have gone through a huge growth process from the Page to the Queen, yeah, Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, yeah, look at this, we have the Page, the Knight, the Queen, yeah, The Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords. What's that about? Clarify the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles. What about the Seven of Swords, though? Judgment. Somebody's getting their karma. Somebody's been getting karma here for being deceptive, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever they did. Some of you guys just wanted this person to tell you the truth. You, and I feel like you will get the truth. I just feel like something blew up and you guys have been single, but it's so that you guys could evolve. You guys needed to be single. This needed to end. That was the only way that you were going to evolve and level up and, and get on the right path so that they could get on the right path. Tell me more. The Ten of Wands. 
yeah, there was some releasing that you needed to do, that they needed to do so that there could be a new beginning. There could be a leap of faith. Aquarius energy. We have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What about this King of Swords, though? The Emperor. The Two of Cups. This is your um, divine counterpart. <laughs> Who's coming in to tell you this truth or to communicate something to you. They want to be in a relationship. Find more. Yes, look at this, guys. Nine of Cups. You and this person could be very happy together. Could be your divine feminine. But look at this. Temperance. So I see a look at this. The star. Wow. Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. The way that it was before, it won't be like that anymore. Wow. So I see that a reconciliation is going to bring about wish fulfillment. It's going to bring about balance. Yeah renewal like i see a renewal of a connection wish fulfillment and this is something that you waited patiently for but i do feel like somebody was getting some karma what is it tell me more about this seven of swords energy i just feel like you have the hair font taurus energy and the king of pentacles could have been a taurus you were dealing with what about this person the five of wands and the five of swords yo they've been going through something here what is this fighting energy? Someone's fighting. Yeah, the five of pentacles fighting over money. Just know, guys, that when this person comes back, they're coming back changed because they didn't went through hell and back. We have the five of swords, the five of pentacles, the five of wands. They've been going through all types of chaos and conflict. Why? Are, what did they do to reap this type of karma, spirit? What did they do to reap this type of karma? So four of cups, they ignored you. They... They disregarded you. They did something. They chose third parties over you because that's what the, it's like they had a golden opportunity being offered to him, to them. This person was too focused on these three cups down here. They weren't focused on what was being offered to them from the divine. I don't know. What did they do? The, the seven of pentacles, the two of swords. I feel like this person took too long to make a decision about you too. Yeah, somebody was taking too long to make the decision to invest. The sun, Leo energy, the page of pentacles. learning lessons and when you have something good when you have something that makes you happy and makes you you know fills your cup yeah look at this ten of cups the three of pentacles that you don't take that for granted why did they do that though why did they do this the devil because they were just toxic they had a lot of toxic attachments they had addictions they they were toxic i don't know how else to put it that's why capricorn energy so um yeah the nine of swords the four of pentacles and the strength card and the six of wands yeah it was important for you guys to have enough strength and courage to pull back your energy hold back from this person stay away from them and let them go through this karma they were never going to see they were never going to get it unless you you pull back your energy accepted the situation for what it was at the time and let them go through whatever they were going to go through but now i see that they've learned a lesson here they've learned a lesson and they have changed or they will be changing five of swords again and we have the three of cups they've been yeah they've been going through some type of conflict possibly with somebody that they live with the third party the moon that they were hiding from you so if somebody is going through a they've been going through karma for hiding a third party from you and amongst other things they kind of got stuck there yeah, I think that they got stuck there at least for a time being. But seriously, they Sir so kind of sat them down so they could have a change in perspective. Yeah. So they could have a change in perspective. Really put things into perspective. So that's what I see is coming in. Let's get a few more. Um, good things. Good things. What deck was I about to use? Hmm. Positive things coming in for the collective.
So it says your personal difficulties will soon improve with an intimate relationship in your life. Yeah, like you maybe thought that this was a lost cause, but Spirit says things are actually about to get better between you and this person. The perfect partner for you to build with and navigate through life will with will be available to you before the end of the year. So this is like very soon. Balance will soon be restored as a lost love will reach out to you. Will reach out. You will be resented with an opportunity to rebuild a connection. It's very clear. One more card. A friendly connection will bloom into a romance. You may feel an excited nervousness at this time as it will bring forth an an unexpected deepening of emotions. So this, this is kind of that maybe you you guys were never full blown in a relationship with. It was more a situationship, friends with benefits, or just maybe you were just friends and now it's about to turn into something more. It says you will be entering a transitional phase in which you may feel restless. Things may seem complicated at this time, but these changes are needed to improve, to, for, to help you move forward on your journey. So I feel like that's what's going on right now. You guys are starting to feel restless. You're waiting for something to come in. You're wanting to know like what's, you feel something coming in, but you don't know what it is or when it's going to happen. And you're kind of getting a little impatient. You're getting a little restless, but things, so it says that things are changing. They're wanting to assure you that things are changing. They're kind of keeping some things secret from you. Cause I think that they want you to be surprised um, by what is going to be happening here. Um, is there anything else that they need to know um, about the situation? Is there anything else that they need to know about this situation spirit? Anything else? We have the four of wands, okay? Then we have the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have justice, Libra energy, and we have the devil. Yeah, I feel, what's that do with my collective? The chariot, Cancer energy, and the five of cups. And the two of, somebody is in regret over juggling you. I'm telling you, somebody is getting karma for trying to juggle you. Okay, you guys could be this Queen of Wands that could have been juggling a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Somebody that they had a karmic, they were attached to that person, had an attachment, an addiction, toxic relationship with this person. They could have lived with this person. I think this they're either getting a divorce from this person or things are like, people are, it's like things are getting to, how do I say this? Things have been out of order. They're not supposed to be with this person. You're, you know, things are kind of like getting, the puzzle pieces are actually getting into the right spots now. Things are getting moved around. You may not see it happening, but it is happening behind the scenes where things are coming back into like the way that things are getting into, why am I having a hard time talking? <sighs> things are coming into balance. People are going to be coming into union with who they're supposed to really be with, leaving situations they're not supposed to be in, ending cycles that they have outgrown. It's like things are coming together in the way that it was fated to come together type thing here. So there will be a lot of endings. There will be a lot of changes. There will be periods like waiting periods. There will be... Things are being moved on. Even if you feel like nothing is happening, things are being worked out behind the scenes. I feel like all spirit is really wanting you to focus on right now is your purpose and yourself and healing. Um, I think that this, whoever this person is, they had a lot more decluttering to do than you did. Okay. I think that they had a lot more significant. Or so maybe you had already gotten that shit done. They, they did it. They had it yet. So I think that now they are doing a lot of like closing out of cycles and cutting off karmic attachments and things like that. Is there anything else? We have the King of Cups here. So that's the King of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Sun. Leo Energy. We have Strength Energy. Leo Energy again. And we have the Eight of Cups. Somebody's having the courage you know what's bringing about, you guys are more powerful than you realize you are. What's causing all of these huge changes is the, because you guys had enough strength and courage to walk away from this person and stay away from them and be walk towards something that was more fulfilling. If you guys haven't done that yet, this is, may not be your reading or this could be what will happen once you have enough courage to walk away from this person. Because they were trying to juggle you. They were causing to, they were playing games. They had a third party. They were hiding this person from you. And Spirit says you're an empress or an emperor. And empresses and emperors 
they know their worth and they have enough strength and courage to withdraw quickly from situations that are not are less than what they deserve that that aren't on their vibration so i feel like um oh my gosh something just fell down over there is i don't i don't think there any there's anything else that i want to look at here let's see the here font coming out again taurus energy and we have the hermit and we have the hanged man lots of major arcanas here so yeah big changes happening even if you can't see it yeah someone's starting to look look at something differently also if somebody was like Someone's learning lessons, somebody's growing, somebody's perspectives are changing, um, leading to what? Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. So do you, the Magician, and the Two of Pentacles. So those two of Pentacles. Somebody's just in regret. Somebody regrets losing you. Somebody regrets juggling you. They regret. The fact that they, they pushed you to the point where you had to cut them off and you had to set boundaries, you had to cuss them out, whatever they pushed you to do. I definitely feel like you guys walked away from them or there's a need to walk away from them, um, which is going to lead to a lot of positive change, even if it doesn't seem like it. Um, I don't think that this one needs a, an extended. I think it's just very straight to the point. So, um I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you for watching, guys.